In this video, I'm going to teach you how to easily create social media and graphics using Kittle that you can then use on platforms like Instagram, Facebook, perhaps even your own newsletter or on your website. If you're completely new to Kittle, I will have a link in the description where you can sign up to a free trial to test out the tool and follow along with this tutorial. Now, what we want to do once we're logged into our account is look at this template section. We want to filter it by marketing right here at the top. Now we only see marketing templates, but you will find that there is a bunch of different subcategories within these templates right here for marketing as well. You've got a few of them being suggested right here at the top. And what I like to do is I want to actually type in the topic that I'm looking for. So if I want, for example, Instagram marketing templates, I would type in Instagram bundle and hit enter. And the bundles are quite useful because as you can see here, we, you have multiple screens, eight, three, that are being combined with the same style in different formats, which makes it a lot easier and quicker to put these together. Some of these here say email newsletter bundle. This one looks really nice, to be honest. Whereas some of them say social media, and then you'll have some specific ones for Instagram. For example, we've got these two right here with the burgers. You could swap out the burger images for some t-shirt designs or other mock-ups, amend some of the text, and then you're good to go. Now, scrolling down a bit further, there is one template that is really, really good if you're trying to promote print and mad products because it is literally designed for that. So here, as you can see, we've got some sweatshirts already being advertised in four different Instagram ad sizes. So I'm going to use this template right here as the example, but obviously you can browse further and find other ones that suit your style as well. Not to worry about these colors, by the way, if the colors don't match your brand or the style that you have in mind, then we can also easily change that with the color palettes down here, as you can see. So the next thing you need is an actual design that you want to sell. I'm not going to go into that process in this video because I've made a lot of tutorials in the past showing you how to create t-shirt designs with Kittle. But once you do have a finished design like this, what you want to do next is create some mock-ups. We can do that straight right here within Kittle by clicking on the mock-up button. And then on the left, they've got this category called apparel flat lays. I'm just going to open these up. We'll use a couple of these right here as an example. Let's start off with this simple t-shirt mock-up. In this case, we don't actually want a background scenery or background image because we're going to remove this background anyway to make it easier to use these mock-ups on the ads. So let's place that like this. And then you can click download mock-up on the right if you're happy with that. Let's choose a hoodie as well, maybe a back print option right here same thing I'm going to resize text right here or our design and then click download again and we'll also add a coffee mug to the mix why not this design works very well on a tall white ceramic mug right here so there we go that looks pretty good and then you want to download that as well now you need to head back to the original ad template right here. And if you're not sure how to find that, basically on the homepage, you can click on my projects and you will find it saved in there. So what I'm going to do here is drag and drop my mockups. They've downloaded to my device. I'm going to open them up down here. They open quite small, but if we highlight these and increase the size, and as you can see, we can bring them all up at once because the other ones are hidden behind here. Now we need to remove the background. That's very easily done with the AI background remover that Kittle has built in. So I'm gonna click on that. It takes a few seconds per image. There we go, that's the first one. And here we are, now we can start replacing some of these sweatshirts right here. One thing to note, this is just the thumbnail. We don't need this ad board. That's the thumbnail for the Kittle template. That's irrelevant to us, but we are going to use all of these different formats right here. So so this is a landscape. You could use that as a store banner on your website or perhaps on Etsy as well. Something along these lines would work. Then we have the story version right here, very tall format for an Instagram story. This is Instagram portrait and then a square if you're looking to do a post. First thing I'm going to do is delete the sweatshirts right here. And then I'm going to start with t-shirt. I'll drag these others to the side for now and bring our t-shirt up to the first artboard right here. Let's give this a little bit of a tilt and take it to the back because at the moment it's blocking some of the badging right here. So we can do right click to the back. Now I don't really want these dots to be above the shirt. So I'll send them to the back as well. And maybe this as well. Let's see. Yeah, I think that looks better. What you can do as well, you can edit the text right here. So if you don't want to offer 30% off, but something like 25, obviously you can amend this. If you need some different text, maybe we'll do 
travel merch as an example right here you can amend the text to suit whatever you're trying to sell and then the link to your store to etsy website or wherever you're selling your designs one more thing you can play around with over here on this shirt mock-up is you could add a shadow so if you add shadow on the right hand side with this plus symbol you can also adjust the blur the angle right here that the shadow is pointing towards and the offset is going to be how far it is away i'm also going to turn down the opacity a little bit on this maybe to about 70 percent okay i think that's looking pretty good now that everything is set up we could also play around with the color scheme so if you want to change the colors for all of these ad boards at once you can go down to color palette over here and you've got a bunch of presets so let's find another one that works quite well with our design here we are and now let's copy this t-shirt over to the next ad board we can use the duplicate function for that and then just drag and drop over to the next slide you can slightly change the sizing right here because it is a different format and you might have to sort of adjust the placement a little bit as well obviously don't forget to amend the text uh, if you have done so to make it match whatever you have in the first image and now you want to essentially replicate that process for the other slides right here as well it's always the same duplicate the t-shirt over change the text and some of the placement if needed right here we are there we've got our uniform ads and a quick bonus tip now that you've got all of these different formats set up you can easily apply them to your other mock-ups as well because what we can do is we can select all of these artboards together by holding down shift and clicking on the titles right here one after another and now i'm going to just hold down alt on my keyboard click on them drag them down and here we are they've been duplicated if you hold shift now as well it's going to keep them in line to keep it tidy and then we can do this one more time which will give us enough ad boards to put this hoodie and the coffee mug onto these as well but now the only thing to do is literally just delete the t-shirt and place the different product onto these because all of the text has already been amended to what we need so let's start with this hoodie over here and you get the process by now so I'm going to probably turn this into a time lapse sometimes you might still have to adjust the placement because the products do have obviously a different shape a different outline and you would also still want to add the drop shadow as we did before here we go now we're all done and the best thing is we can always reuse these templates for new designs different products now that we already have it set up with the right colors and the right layout it should be really easy to keep the branding consistent in the future and also one more thing to note is when you want to export these you just have to head to download right here then you can literally export all ad boards at once in this case we probably want to deselect the thumbnail we don't need that one which actually let's look at that that's what we came from so this was the original design for the thumbnail and now we've moved it over to this style right here to match our t-shirt uh, with our product so it has definitely made a bit of a transformation but in order to export these all together and make sure you've got the correct artboard selected change this to uh, optimize quality down here if it's not turned on we don't need to change the dimensions because these already have the dimensions set up properly and then we can just hit download right here and it will be saved as a zip file to your device if you want to learn a step-by-step -step process to create t-shirt designs with the help of Kittle's built-in AI features, then make sure to check out this video next.